I'm reading from the King James Bible, the real Bible. Go ahead and get your King James Bible, the real Bible. Turn in your King James Bible to Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3. Verses 5 on to verse 8 in Proverbs chapter 3. Go there, please. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 on to verse 8. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes, fear the Lord, and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel, and marrow to thy bones. Look at verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. Who do you trust in, brother, sister? Our Lord Jesus Christ? I would hope you do. You need to, if you're saved and born again. Go to Nehemiah. Nehemiah, chapter 6. Nehemiah, chapter 6. <clears throat> Nehemiah chapter 6, beginning at verse 1. We're going to read this whole chapter. Can you handle it? Go there. Now, dispensationally, this is a totally different kind of thing. Yes, but we need a little instruction in righteousness right now, don't we? Don't we? Brother, sister. Nehemiah chapter 6, beginning at verse 1. Now it came to pass when Sanballat and Tobiah and Geshem the Arabian and the rest of our enemies heard that I had builded the wall, doing work for the Lord, and that there was no breach left therein, though at that time I had not set up the doors upon the gates. That Sanballat and Geshem said unto me, Sent sent unto me, saying, Come, let us meet together in some one of the villages in the plain of Ono. But they thought to do me mischief. And I sent messengers unto them, saying, I am doing a great work. He was doing the work of the Lord. So that I cannot come down. Why should the work cease whilst I leave it? And come down to you. Yet they sent unto me four times after this sort. And I answered them after the same manner. So apparently December 10th. YouTube here is going to change their terms of service. And you know what, brethren, you can't really trust what you see on YouTube about this. In my liked videos, I have on my most recent liked video, I have this thing done by a lawyer type of guy talking about it. But then again, you see all these videos about, you know, channels are going to be deleted because they're not monetized. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not on thine own understanding. And here we see people trying to, using propaganda, trying to scare Nehemiah from doing the work of the Lord, which he was doing at that time. Let's continue from verse 5 in Nehemiah chapter 6. Then sent Sambalot his servant unto me in like manner the fifth time with an open letter in his hand, wherein was written, It is reported among the heathen, and Gashmu saith it, 
that thou and the Jews think to rebel, for which cause thou buildest the wall, that thou mayest be their king, according to these words. And thou hast also appointed prophets to preach of thee at Jerusalem, saying, There is a king in Judah. And now shall it be reported to the king according to these words. Come now, therefore, and let us take counsel together. See, they wanted to trip them up. See, infiltrators, false converts, they want to engage you in dialogue in order to trip you up, to distract you from doing the work of the Lord. Whether it's at the moment, at this time here on YouTube, or whether it's outside your door, okay? Your enemy, Satan and his church, Roman Catholicism, Mystery Babylon, and all her daughters are out there trying to distract you from doing whatever it is the Lord has called you to do. Get it? Let's continue. Then I sent unto him, saying, There are no such things done as thou sayest, but thou feignest them out of thine own heart. For they all made us afraid, Ooh. saying, Their hand shall be weakened from the work, that it be not done. Now therefore, O God, strengthen my hands. Fear. Fear, brethren. Do you fear the Lord? Or do you fear not having fellowship with other brethren via YouTube? Is your relationship good with the Lord? Hmm? Or is it dependent upon other brethren? Think about this stuff, Christian. See, Sanballat and his buddies wanted to have dialogue with Nehemiah, wanted to trip him up, wanted to distract him. <clears throat> and look at verse 9, for they made us afraid, trying to scare them away from doing the work of the Lord. Okay? Okay? Let's continue. Verse 10. Afterward, I came unto the house of Shemaiah, the son of Deliah, the son of Mahetabel, who was shut up. And he said, Let us meet together in the house of God, within the temple, and let us shut the doors of the temple, for they will come to slay thee, yea, in the night will they come to slay thee. And I said, Should such a man as I flee, and who is there that being, that, being as I am, would go into the temple to save his life? I will not go in. And lo, I perceived that God had not sent him, but that he pronounced this prophecy against me. For Tobiah and Sanbalat had hired him, infiltrator. An infiltrator, brethren. You see that? You see that? Shemaiah, the son of Deliah, he was an infiltrator. Someone close to Nehemiah, right? Someone on the inside of the clique. An infiltrator trying to put Nehemiah in fear. <laughs> oh yeah, brethren. And look at how, in uh, verse 11, how Nehemiah answers that. Should I flee? I ain't going into the temple of the Lord to hide myself. You just sit there and do nothing. And look at verse 12 again. And lo, I perceived that God had not sent him, but that he pronounced this prophecy against me. For Tobiah and Sambalot had hired him. Yeah. <laughs> Let's continue. Therefore was he hired, he was an infiltrator, that I should be afraid and do so and sin 
and that they might have matter for an evil report, that they might reproach me. Look at verse 14. Look to where Nehemiah goes to. My God. My God. Think thou upon Tobiah and Sanballat according to these their works. And on the prophetess, a woman, Nodiah, and the rest of the prophets that would have put me in fear. Did Nehemiah go to the other brethren? Now, again, brethren, I'm not against fellowship. I love it. I long for it. I cherish it whenever I can get it. Remember what it says in the very first verse of Genesis and in the first verse in the Bible, in the beginning, God. Okay. And look what Nehemiah does. My God. Okay. Let's continue. So the wall was finished in twenty in the twenty and fifth day of the month Eliu, in fifty and two days. And it came to pass that when all our enemies heard thereof, and all the heathen that were about us saw these things, they were much cast down in their own eyes, for they perceived that this work was wrought of our God. For they perceived that this work was wrought of our God. For they perceived that this work was wrought of our God. Do you get it? Do you get it, brethren? Let's continue. Moreover, in those days, the nobles of Judah sent many letters unto Tobiah, and the letters of Tobiah came unto them. For there were many in Judah sworn unto him, traitors. Coadjutors, you could say. Sellouts. He, for there were many in Judah sworn unto him, because he was the son-in-law of Shechaniah the son of Ara, and his son Johanan had taken the daughter of Meshulam the son of Berkiah. Also they reported his good deeds before me, and uttered my words to him. And Tobias sent letters to put me in fear. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, brethren. Yeah. Yeah. Digest this for a second. Okay, brethren? Digest this for a second. Let's 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 talk a little here, here, here. Here. Let's let's talk a little reality here for a second, shall we? If you're doing a work for the Lord, if you're here on YouTube doing a work for the Lord, do you fear YouTube, Google, or the Lord? And brethren, we have to remember, Google and YouTube are in no way a Christian company. They don't even purport, pretend, confess to be Christian in any way, shape, or form. And the evidence is there that suggests that Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth, the Jesuits, Catholicism, are the ones who are behind both Google and YouTube. There's tremendous evidence suggesting that. Brethren, we're behind enemy lines, and we are using a medium that is in control of the enemy, basically. But see, the Lord, who is mightier than all, okay, has allowed his children, his sons, to do work here on YouTube. Who are you afraid of? Now, as January 1st, the 
government, the federal government, is officially going to get involved here on YouTube with this whatever it is about the kids stuff. It's all for their safety. It's We're doing this to make it safer. Hello, propaganda. Yeah, get it? Okay, it's all for their safety. And the monetize thing, uh, just so you know, brethren, I do have the option to monetize my channel. I ain't going to do that. <laughs> I'm sure. But there again, brethren, what do you expect? Now, channels such as Ed Feniger, King's Table, now I don't know about Max Bauer. But these guys aren't probably going to go anywhere because they're not preaching the right gospel. They're preaching a perverted gospel. And Ed Feniger, King's Table, Bible Berean 1611, all those guys, they're not enemies of the Catholic Church. Oh, they'll make a video here and there about Catholicism, but they, they're not outwardly enemies of Catholicism. And I have long uh, said and do wholeheartedly believe that Edward Feniger himself is a Jesuit. I believe that wholeheartedly. Those guys aren't a threat to Roman Catholicism. And I'm not a threat to Roman Catholicism, but I know the truth of it. Google and YouTube are not Christian, brethren. It is only by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Father, that truly saved, born-again, King James Bible-believing Christians have been given the grace to put sermons out there, to put videos, instructions, and teachings out there. It's only by His grace. And big channels such as Brian, who has over 10 million views, you, uh, there ain't no way you're going to see Brian Denlinger monetize his channel. I wouldn't be surprised if his channel got deleted, but then again, he's a big draw to YouTube. Even though he is not monetized, he is bringing people to this medium. So in that respect, Brian Denlinger, man, you know, he might not get deleted. Chick Tracks, okay, who is, I love uh, David Daniels. His work on the King James is, stupend is stupendous, wonderful. He's kind of overly too friendly. He ain't going to go anywhere. Okay? He ain't going to go anywhere. But little guys like me, now, is my chance. Uh, my views have already been messed with on a couple of my more recent videos I've seen. <laughs> whatever. They mess with my views, whatever. I don't care. I don't care. I fear the Lord. And will my channel here be deleted? Don't know. If it is, oh well. Oh well. I'm sorry, brethren, but it's in the hands of the Lord. If one day, if after the 10th or the 1st of January, my little nothing channel gets deleted, bye-bye. Love you guys. Uh, you do have an email on my channel that you can contact me if you wish. Feel free. I have no problems doing Google Hangouts. Um, give me your phone number through an email, like uh, with a one brother of mine. I'll, talk, I'll, I'll have fellowship with you like that, sure. But brethren, we've got to understand. YouTube, Google is not Christian. And it is only by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that we have been allowed the time that we have. And it has long been acknowledged that sooner or later, this is all going to come to an end for us. That's why we looked at Nehemiah. You have the propaganda machine. And using the, uh, you know, the armed propaganda teams, you know, doing their things here on YouTube about this upcoming purge. And I do believe, I really do believe that they are going to start deleting King James Bible believing Christians channels. I really do believe that. Yes. 
it's prob- it's most definitely probably going to happen. Like I said, I don't know if big guys like Brian are going to be deleted because even though he is not monetized, he is still a draw to YouTube. David Daniels, Chick Publications, they ain't going anywhere. <clears throat> okay, he ain't going anywhere. Little guys like us, the pawns, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Brethren, don't let this kind of stuff scare you. Because you know what, brethren? You can't live on YouTube. Every once in a while, you know, you got to turn off the power button. You got to turn off your cell phone. And you got to go outside your door every once in a while. And granted, in most congregations, towns, you know, nobody wants to hear the truth. Pray the Lord that maybe a brother... If you're a sister, a fellow sister within your congregation, you know, your town, that the Lord might put an actual fellow saved, born again, King James Bible believing Christian in your life, in your path, that you can have that fellowship with. I do have one in my congregation here in my town. We just don't see each other too often because we're both really bad at getting back at each uh, back to each other. And any of you who have gotten uh, a hold of me outside of YouTube, you know, you know, uh, yeah, Brad, you're pretty bad at that yourself. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, you know. Don't be afraid. If it happens, it happens. What's your relationship with the Lord like? Huh? What is it like? And brethren, I understand the sting of no fellowship. Oh, I do. Okay, I do. I really do. But remember what it says in Genesis chapter 1, the very first verse of the Bible. In the beginning, God. And what does it say here in Nehemiah 6 verse 14? My God. I love you. I really do. And I am very thankful for the time that I've had here on YouTube. I am. And I'm thankful that at least one person may have been edified, instructed, admonished, rebuked, encouraged, strengthened in their walk with the Lord by anything that I, a sinner who is chief, has done here on YouTube. If one person I've always looked at it like that, brethren. If one person got anything edifying, encouraging, doctrinal, reproof, correction, instruction in righteousness, if just one person got anything to strengthen themselves in the Lord by anything I, a sinner who is, who is chief, has done, then it would have all been worth it. It's all been worth it. That's the thing, brethren. I don't want to see, I would not like to see my channel deleted just like that, considering all the amount of time and work I've done here. But I do got all my, my video notes. I don't want to call them sermons. But I do got all my notes. I do got them all. I, I kept them all. Not labeled, but I, I got them all. And I beg your pardon. I do know for a fact that there has been at least one person. And beg your pardon for this foolishness. I do know for a fact that there has been at least one person who has received edification, rebuke, encouragement, instruction in righteousness, has received doctrine has received proper instruction. I do know for a fact there has been at least one person who has been edified through anything that I, a sinner who is chief, have done here on YouTube. What I've done here has been worth my time. What I have done on YouTube has been worth it. 
I'm content with that, brethren. I'm content with that. And if the 10th come, the 1st of January come, and accountable KJV is no more and gone, you see that little stupid box in your thing there, if you're still here, then I want you to know that I love you and that I'm content with what the Lord has done with me, through me, here on YouTube. And I am more than content knowing that one person, just one, got something out of what I have done here on YouTube. Okay? Did you think this was going to last forever? Seriously, brother? Sister? What they do before this stuff, right? But then again, First Timothy chapter six. Verse eleven on to verse sixteen. First Timothy chapter six. Verse eleven on to verse sixteen. But thou O man of God, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. I've done that. Beg your pardon. I give thee charge in the sight of God, who quickeneth all things, and before Christ Jesus, who before Pontius Pilate witnessed a good confession, that thou keep this commandment without spot, unrebukable, until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, which in his times he shall shew, who is the blessed and only potentate, the King of kings and Lord of lords. who only hath immortality, dwelling in the light which no man can approach unto, whom no man hath seen nor can see, to whom be honor and power everlasting. Amen. And of course, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 4, Verses 1 on to verse 8. Oh, you know it. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 1 on to verse 8. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Be instant in season and be instant in season, out of season. Repro reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned on to fables you can cross reference that with Isaiah chapter 30 verses 8 to 11 go ahead and cross reference that okay on your own time of course because I do got to go to work but watch thou in all things in your afflictions do the work of an, of a, of an evangelist Make full proof of thy ministry. For I am now ready to be offered. <laughs> and the time of my departure is at hand. <laughs> I have fought a good fight. I have fought a good fight. 
I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Don't forget this one, brother, sister. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. So what's going to happen? I don't know. But I have fought a good fight. And if my channel disappears, thy will be done. And brethren, you're you're afraid about you, you know you're concerned about fellowship with other brethren. Uh, if you want, email me. Then email me if you want. We can exchange phone numbers. Go ahead. We can we can still do that. Uh, I I am involved in Google Hangouts when I have time. You know, this is a really hard month for me. You know, my mother died in this month, and uh, it's ironic that my mother's birthday is the tenth. You know, and um, my wife and I struggle during this time because she's very into Christmas and I am not. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 through 8. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord. Depart from evil. Put your name after that. It shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. Honor the Lord with thy substance, and with the first fruits of all thine increase. We're reading more, yes. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as the father the son in whom he delighteth. <clears throat> My channel disappears, brethren. Thy will be done. But I have fought a good fight. And I do know for a fact that one person, just one person, has gotten something out of it. That's good enough for me. I'm not going to upload another video this month. I'm not probably going to upload another video for the rest of the year. Or if my channel disappears, such is life. Keep your eyes upon Jesus, friends. And stay in this book, the King James Bible. The real Bible. Study to shew thyself approved unto God, that you be a workman who needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Cheerio. See you later.